Welcome back friends, it's Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another insight. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the planet, the kingdom of the planet of the apes. I'm a huge fan of the planet of the apes uh, movie series and I was looking online and I saw this new concept art that they've just shared and man, I, it looks amazing. It looks like this is, I don't know if this is planet earth at some point, but everything looks to be like abandoned like humans are not even there so it, it got me thinking right because when i look at this image <laughs> it reminds me of mid journey and reminds me of uh dali and all these new ai prompts so like i know an artist uh probably drew this because i mean this is a, <laughs> a huge movie company but uh i was curious you know like what would mid journey create like if someone were to use mid journey or dali and so i'm gonna put Dali, which is over here on the right hand side, and I'm gonna put uh, Mid Journey over on the left hand side, and maybe you can draw some inspiration from some of the prompts that I've been using over here, and we're gonna see which one does a better job, right? So we're gonna start with uh, simply doing Kingdom of the Apes, which I did, I tried before. So let's go to Dali over here, and we're just gonna. Well, we're really it's supposed to be typing, but I'm just gonna copy and paste <laughs> text to image. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Let's click generate and see what it produces. And over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna give them the same exact prompts to see which one does better. And then we can refine the prompts. And let's go ahead and give mid journey. So <laughs> on the right hand side, this is what <laughs> Dali has given us, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So clearly it is a little, you know, it just took a look like, uh, yeah, I can see a little bit of uh, apes over here, but nothing too profound, right? And let's wait for mid journey to see what he does. And as you can see, they both give you like, this one gave you four images. And Majan is giving us four images, right? So we're gonna see if we can refine this and then see the exact same prompt and see how well the artificial intelligence, you know, comes close to uh, this artist. So I wanna see like, if this is like, now I only don't, don't honestly don't know who created this uh, concept art for this new movie for the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, but I'm gonna assume that this was a real concept artist who, I don't know if they were photo bashing but it looks like uh, in here you can see some things, you know, <laughs> it looks a little bit of photo bashing over there. So I don't know if it was like truly hand-drawn, but this is concept art by nature is it's a concept. You get, you want to give an idea of what something should look like. And so uh, in here, what they created, they have like a, a chimpanzee riding a horse in a desolate area. So maybe that's what we need to do, right? I'm imagining the a director or creative director was giving them instructions. So let's try that. Okay, let's go back to Dali. Let's go back to, let's see what uh, Midjani gave us. So we have here, uh, these are not yet appraised, so they are small images similar to those ones. So this one looks very interesting. You see this right here? Kingdom of, and they, we just use Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So if we were to take, uh, that's one, two, three, let's do number three. And that's version three. Let's appraise number three and see what it likes. Now on Dali, let me see. This I can uh, generate variations, open new tab, download it. But in Dali, there's nothing really that I want to use <laughs> over here. There's certainly nothing that comes close to that, right? So this is the appraise version of uh, the one that we looked at, and it looks cool. So let's do the second prompt right and this one we're not going to do kingdom of the planet of the apes we're just going to try um an ape riding a horse uh with a gun in a desolate planet with green tint <laughs> Now I'm picturing myself as an art director. Like, what would I tell my artists that I want to create? An ape riding a horse with a gun in a desolate uh, planet with with a green tint. Let's say volumetric. 
lighting and uh, let's see uh, mm, what else do we want to add uh sad mood <laughs> all right let's control control c copy that and we're gonna come over here in uh, mid journey and let's do creative prompt and let's go ahead and paste and let's enter and see what it does okay now we've appraised this version so let's take a quick look and so this is what it created you know and if you compare that to this one right here yeah you know i mean you could see that uh, it's coming together like in terms of concept art it, it, it does a better job so mid journey for some reason does a better job of like being creative i didn't even add like the more nuanced part of mid journey because mid journey can do a, do a really good job of that so let's go back down uh let's go ahead and generate in dali go ahead and generate let's wait for that let's go back here and see what uh so we're doing the same thing and uh so dali seems to be a little bit faster maybe i don't know but let's see this one is 93 percent okay <laughs> it's interesting you know to see the, the result so this is what dali did <laughs> this is an app with a gun riding a horse and uh let's go to the next one there's another one uh no 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 absolutely not this one looks like they're actually underwater <laughs> okay and that's as for mid journey let's see what they've done so again here you get a sense that uh, it's a little bit more creative right so let me go ahead and add the nuances so like let me add uh volumetric lighting and we're gonna do all these cool things that uh, mid journey does because I want to see how well Midjani can actually, how far it stretches this. Okay, prompt. Let's put that in there and we want to do, let's go back. So we want an ape riding a horse and it's maybe like, uh, let's do right here. Copy that. Put over there with a comma. And let's copy this. Copy and let's go ahead and get mid journey to start. And let's also go over here, control A, control V, and let's generate again. And let's wait and see what <laughs> comes out. So as a concept artist, and I'm thinking that, uh, you know, because I, I, again, I'm thinking I, I'm a big fan of uh, Planet of the Apes. I'm just trying to do some testing to see like how like if uh, they had high, use artificial intelligence what kind of <laughs> what kind of quality would they have gotten and dali fails i think miserably for some reason dali is having a hard time and dali for me people have been talking about dali and how awesome it is but for some reason the results are just so disappointing okay wait 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 a minute uh, that is a little bit more but still, it's supposed to be riding a horse, but it's riding a, a it's riding a gorilla horse, right? Look at that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dali is uh, like kind of failing, like sad. Now already here, I can see the chimpanzee. Maybe we need to say chimpanzee. You know, maybe we need, instead of a, a, an ape riding a, a horse, we need to say chimpanzee because after all, this is a chimpanzee riding a horse uh we holding uh oh wait we gotta make it hold uh an, an eagle a hawk all right let's try again let's go back so we're gonna do an a uh let's say a chimpanzee is it riding a horse Wow. Wow. 
holding an ego. I think it's an ego. All right, control A, control C. Let's generate that and see what it does. Let's go back. So let's first see what uh, Mijani came up with. So there's a, an ape and there's a distant one. So let's try again. So again, uh, this is like going back and forth with the artist as and a director, but I'm using, oh, okay, I gotta go back. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's uh, go ahead, image prompt. Let's put that there. And sub surface scattering, we want to do. Okay, let me just not add the test and up beta. Let's just do our straight up. It's because the same thing that we gave to uh, Dali. All right, let's press enter, a chimpanzee riding a horse while holding an ego with a gun in a desolate planet. Uh, for me. Okay, let's go press enter. And let's see how well they do. Now, if we go to Dali, okay, now it looks like we're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there that uh, we have a chimpanzee riding a horse. Let's get the next image. It's still having trouble making a horse for some strange reason. I don't know if there's not enough images of a horse, but it's trying to ride another chimpanzee. <laughs> I don't know why it's having such a hard time of uh, making a horse, but anyway. Let's see. Uh, okay, Mijani is uh, making progress over here. Waiting to see if it does anything special. Um, is, are they just not? Maybe the database is just limited when it comes to horses. All right, here there's nothing usable. <laughs> Actually, Dali did better this time around, although it's trying to ride another chimpanzee. Isn't it just? Why can't they do a horse, right? So I, I I'm I'm lost. I mean I'm just um uh, I don't know. It's just not working. So it looks like what we did here actually came up with better results. And uh so again, that is the results that I'm in the testing that I've just been trying to do to see if I if I were like trying to assess was this created with uh, AI did an uh, director tell like a specific uh, illustrator can you do this so I think that's the value of having an artist who can actually take what's some like uh, a concept that an a director creative director has provided and then actually do exactly what the director says because when I try to use uh, artificial intelligence and tell it to do like something close to that uh, it just doesn't seem to be. Maybe I just need to be more descriptive, and then uh, see what uh, you know how well it does. But for the first, my first few tests I've done, I I got. I'm gonna say that maybe this was done by a human, because so far uh, the artificial intelligence is struggling and it's just not giving me <laughs> any good results. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Let's just try it one more time because. By nature, these uh, engines, they really give you the same result twice. So let's try again. Let's generate again the same thing and give it another chance, right? You know, it's like a, a, a Derek again going back on the email. Hey, man, what you sent me is not exactly what I want. So could you do it again? So we go back telling the uh, AI, you know what? We want you to try again. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> and things got worse and it's still having a hard time doing a horse it's giving the horse a chimpanzee <laughs> a chimpanzee face <laughs> it's trying to do the ego now this looks like a bear okay okay um i don't know no as an art director i wouldn't pick that not in an ego <laughs> Like, this is what I want. I want to be able to walk up to an, uh, an artist and tell them, could you please draw a horse going down a hill in a desolate environment, you know, and create for us a, a new look for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, <laughs> right? And I'm going to try one more time. All right, come on, Dali. Let's try this again, okay? A chimpanzee riding a horse. Going down a hill while holding a gun, while holding an eagle with a gun. 
you know, let's see. In a an apocalyptic uh, city, an apocalyptic city. <laughs> Oh, I spelled that right. <laughs> All right. A chimpanzee riding a horse going down a hill while holding an eagle with a gun. Well, is the gun with an eagle? Let's say maybe let's move this over. And let's say a chimpanzee riding a horse. A chimpanzee with a gun. Riding a horse, going downhill while... Okay, let's just try that. You know, because sometimes when you're talking to an artist, you need to be a little bit more descriptive and maybe the order matters. Let's go ahead and uh, generate that. Let's go back to Mid Journey. And as you can tell, I mean, nothing really came out of that. <laughs> let's try one one more time. Give it a prompt here. And let's see what Mid Journey does. Oh, now let's look at this. <sighs> Dali. Oh, Dali. So, is a horse, does Dali not understand that a horse is a horse and just call, calls it a, a bear? There's, oh, okay, that's a little bit of a horse, I think. <laughs> Dali's horsing around. Yay. <laughs> it was terrible. This is too, it's just so terrible. All right, I'm I'm counting on Delhi. Come on, Delhi. No, sorry, not Delhi. I'm, I'm counting on Mid Journey. Come on, Mid Journey. Anything at all? Maybe this is such a tough thing. So maybe that's why we have such a beautiful image created by maybe a human that looks really good. That the AI is just struggling to create. And as you can see, it's almost like. It just doesn't want to do a horse. Anyway, guys, those are my experiments. As always, I, I, I know that uh, we are living in interesting times, but um, as an artist, I, in a way, I'm still, I know this AI is just going to get better and better. I still think there's room for artists out there to be able to take direction from an art director or creative director, a film director, to be able to create custom like concept art because clearly <laughs> the AI is struggling <laughs> like it, it's having trouble and uh, for uh, maybe some things it does really well other things it just completely struggles you know and so hey maybe that's the hope we have that uh, the AI in some cases is gonna always struggle and we as artists me included because I'm a concept artist I draw and I paint and uh, so I am also a 3D artist and animator. So I think until the AI can take like proper instruction and create something as cool as that, uh, maybe it takes, you need like multiple prompts, you know, because we've just been doing this for a short period of time now within the duration of this video. But uh, when working with an artist anyways, it, sometimes the concept art might take a few days to a week as you get iterations back and forth. But clearly, uh, I guess if you, I had given the human the same time to do be able to generate these images, it might be a different result, you know. But uh, either way, I just don't know. <laughs> Some things, the AI just doesn't have enough information. And maybe, because I, I wouldn't imagine a human would actually come. If, they were, if you were working on a film, and they told you to do some concept art for a horse with a chimpanzee holding a gun. I don't think the human being, this looks like a child's drawing. <laughs> like, like, like seriously, <laughs> maybe a Picasso. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Today was just a fun session of uh, pitting uh, Dali against uh, uh, me, Jenny, to see how well it could uh, you know, handle uh, creating concept art for one of my favorite films, uh, Planet of the Apes, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And I can't wait to uh, see this movie and to see. And I hope that this shot is actually retained in the movie because I want to go back and see how well they translate the concept art to this iconic, iconic shot. 
So guys, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask you to spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today and dare to dream big. Never ever give up on your dream. Guys, as artists, please don't stop creating. Just because the technology is advancing, go just, it's, I think this is a, an impetus so or new uh, motivation, inspiration for you to continue creating. Because as you can see, the AI <laughs> struggles in a number of areas and the AI needs access to information that we don't have. We have memories and experiences and things that we can actually bring to the table as a artist, concept artist, and, you know, for drawing like ideas of a film. And maybe we can take some you know parts of the AI and then take it to another level. So if you get like a an image that maybe you like that the AI has generated, for example, uh, this one, there was a, some potential in this one right here. Yeah. And maybe let's actually do like a, a quick uh, make variation of this one and see what it does. And uh, just, just take it and then improve on it. Make may do a better job of uh, what the AI has done and then tell a story. You know, ultimately it's about storytelling. That's what we're about guys. And so when you see images like this, uh, hats off to the concept artist. Again, assuming this was a human being, I don't know who did the concept art, but it looks beautiful. But it could also have come from, you know, Mid Journey, for all we know. Well, or clearly, when you look at uh, what Mid Journey is producing now, there's potential. There's really, really good potential in that. And you could actually take this, give it some more information, and then improve on it. So there's room for us, guys. <laughs> take heart. I know the, it's a rapidly changing landscape and I know I have to talk to my son and daughter about, you know, the changing art, uh, landscape and encourage them to not ignore it, but to embrace it and also see how they can harness it, but also be aware of what we are competing against. Thank you so much. Dare to dream big. I am always, always praying for you and uh, for all my friends out there who are going through storms, wars, and this pandemic, I'm praying for you. Please stay safe. Much love and bye for now.